Hey guys, welcome back to the Bray Mountain Homestead. Today we are going to be going house hunting and we are bringing you guys along. This is our second time going house hunting and we are looking at manufactured homes. If you're wondering why we're looking at manufactured homes or why we're choosing to go that route, you can check out our first time going out house hunting and we explain more about that in our homesteading journey and why we're going this route. We will leave that video in the description box and also in a card so you can go ahead over there and check out our first video. The reason we went out house hunting again this time is because we have a much better understanding of what we're looking for and what we need in our lives, especially after living in an RV. I think also living in an RV, which we're doing right now while our homestead's getting put together and ready, is giving us a different perspective of our needs in a home. It takes many times, at least for us, to go out and look at houses. There's so many different places that sell them. There's so many different yeah. manufacturers and they're all so different. Every time you go, they have different models there. And it's just, you, they need more than one look to really get an idea of what you want. So the ones that we looked at and the ones that you're going to see today are definitely ones geared towards what we need. The square footage that we're looking at is probably relatively small in comparison to what other people want, but we just feel like we don't need that much. Especially with homesteading and everything like that, we're going to be outside most of the time and we just feel like we don't need a big, big house. So we looked at smaller sized models. We looked at a double wide, two double wides, I think, and actually a single wide that you'll see later is amazing and that's the thing like when we've been on this journey looking at manufactured homes I feel like they have such a bad reputation but anymore they're gorgeous they're built way better than they used to be you'll see it in the clips that we got that it, they're just so well done I never thought we'd be interested in a single wide but the single wide that we found is awesome no this was actually the first time that we ever seriously looked at a single wide. we always yeah. just looked at double we wides we dismissed them before yeah. really yeah and I'm really glad that we gave it a chance and walked in because it's it, it's a really good one if you though want a bigger home if you don't want something as small as the ones that we're going to look at they do have manufactured homes that are much much bigger there's double wides there's even didn't you say there's triple wides now um you're going to be able to get square footage that is much much bigger than what we're looking at and they're very very well done the layouts are awesome um so there's definitely something out there for everybody all right guys let's go look at the three homes that we toured and keep in mind that out of these three homes we do think that one of them might potentially be the home that we choose so let us know in the comments below which one you think that we're going to choose or which one that you like so we just got to our first house that we're going to be looking at and from the first impression of it i do like it yeah it's nice um it's a little smaller than some of the other ones that we were looking at but we're going to take you around and show you some of the things in it and the kitchen i think is of course my favorite but kitchen is always my favorite in any of these houses that we tour i always look at that first so pretty small living room that's the only thing i don't like about this house probably from just the walking in here's the living room they have it set up with the two couches right here um and then open concept into the kitchen love these floors can you show them these floors, this is the kind of floors that we want. We do not want carpet. <laughs> if you saw our last house hunting video, I think we talked about that too. No carpet, that we're just not like a family that can have carpet with our pets and being outside all the time. But those floors are really nice. Pretty nice island, and then it has the slot for the two bar stools. And then it's pretty snug up against this table. And you can't have a table with chairs around the whole thing too. So you'd have to sacrifice that because it just doesn't have the space. Nice kitchen. Um, especially because you have the extra space with the island in it and then I like the window by the sink always. I also really like this pantry, don't you? It's huge. Yeah, I, I feel like some It's like two feet deep. So, oh yeah, you're right, oh my gosh. Some of these manufactured homes, you really have to make sure that you're aware of the storage because they may look nice and then you realize there's no storage. Like there's not even a pantry or there's not that much closet space. Um, so that is something to look for in the floor plans. Coming down the hallway, we have... This is the first bath? The first bath. It's just a regular, normal full-size bath. No window. Okay, so this is the master. There is one window. It's a big window, but it's still only one. However, I'm looking at that wall. 
and I don't think there's anything on the other side. Like, could we potentially maybe put a window? There's a lot of customization of these homes that you don't know about from first glance. Like, I think you do have some freedom to add a window if you want and do some other things. So even if we can't get it installed, I bet we could install a window there, don't you think? So it has a small, small, I guess you could call it a walk-in closet. Yeah, this is a small house. And then this has the smallest bathroom that we'll probably see today, which is everything you need, but no storage. Okay guys, so we saw this one last time and it was by far our favorite. So when you first walk in, um, you have the living room right here. Now this entertainment center is an insert. We would not probably get that. I kinda like it and I kinda don't. I don't know, let me know down below, like do you guys like that? I like to be able to have the freedom though. Also when you enter, there's the front door and here is a little closet nook, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but many of these manufactured homes don't have this. So um, it actually is like a it's really good bonus. Then when you walk in, we have the gorgeous kitchen, which of course we love so much. This island is giant. It's huge. You can see how big it is. Yeah, that it's it. a very big island. It has that like butcher block look to it because it's so thick right here. It has the detailing on the island legs. Um, last time we were here though, they did say that you could shrink this, I think about a foot. You would lose some of the storage though because there's this awesome under the island storage. I like that hardware too. But you would lose one of these sections, which is not the biggest of deals because then you'd have more space for the dining table because again saving space here so they had to push the table up against which is not my favorite but like it's doable if you push that island in a little bit you wouldn't have that big problem oh very nice window into the kitchen big window that's all very bright there it is <laughs> very deep pantry again that's very nice i just love this storage so like it's so deep too and it's oh, i love that this is kind of like a separate little section you could do um, like a coffee thing here. I think on the floor plan I saw that this you could change up a little too. Then when you come in here, this is where the washer and dryer would be, but this also makes a really good spot for us to build off of and then have our mudroom here. And in our mudroom we were thinking we might want to have like a pantry for all of our canning stuff. So that would be nice because it would be right by the kitchen. So that is a big, big bonus in this little nook for washing dryer. I'm ready to buy it right now. Let's do it. <laughs> so off of the kitchen, we have the two bedrooms, which are both about the same size as the other house we just showed. This is the first room. It has a walk-in closet, the exact same oh as gosh. the other bedroom. So this is the second bath in this house. And you can see it's a little bit bigger than the last one. Everything about it's just a little bit bigger and more spacious. So possibly my favorite part about this entire house is in the master bedroom. So here's the master bedroom and Tony's favorite part of this is the two closets because he can have his own walk-in closet and I can have my own walk-in closet. So here's the one closet and then right over here is another, um, which is just awesome. And living in an RV right now, we have the idiot's biggest closet and well, honestly we're doing fine with it though but i just feel like this could be storage for other stuff too that we just don't have storage for elsewhere so that is key and then i love the bathroom so in this bathroom there's his and her sinks lots of awesome storage down below i actually really love this little window um up above because it brings in light into the bathroom like i feel like that's just an added touch it's really nice and then as I said, the manufactured homes, storage is always key because they don't always have a lot of storage. And bathroom storage in manufactured homes are rare. And so this one has a little bathroom storage closet, which is such an awesome bonus. It even has this over here, another little cupboard for to hide all cleaning supplies or whatever you feel like putting in there. Yeah, like towels or whatever you want, like that. That is so rare for these types of homes to have something like this. So I love that. Um, the stand up shower. This, a lot of this you can customize as well, but I mean, I like it as it is, I think. So they didn't have this one when we were here last time. 
and I love it so much. Now this is a single though, so it's much skinnier, but oh my gosh. You know, after living in an RV, it does not feel cramped <laughs> at all. Look at this little fireplace, and then has a little mantle. I guess you would put your TV up there. So we have the living room, two very big windows. Then all of these windows here, the light in this is gonna be amazing. This you can put little bar stools here and use it as an island. So you have like a mini island there. Then it's across from the actual kitchen, has a hood, vent. Beautiful. Look at this big, beautiful sink. Oh my gosh. And these, window. the windows, like that's the thing, the windows in this one is amazing. Yeah, it does have a pantry though. And then what I love about this one too is that it has a whole section for your dining table, so we wouldn't have that issue about getting pushed up against the wall or anything. It has the light fixtures coming down right over the table, which is really nice. But you still have a nice island, even though it's not like really technically an island, I guess it's more like a breakfast nook or like a bar area, but this could work as an island, it's the same height. And then this is the master. We have a nice barn door on our master, which is beautiful, and then it goes into the bathroom. It's really dark in here, so it might be hard to see, but in the bathroom there's also little barn doors that go along um, the storage underneath of your sinks, his and her sinks. Very, very big shower, <laughs> very big shower. And then we have one closet in here, which is a walk-in closet. And the walk-in closet has a window. And the bedroom has a big window like this in it too. That's so nice. Like everything I feel like in this house is made to have as much light as possible. I never pictured this in a single wide, but because of the light and everything in this and it being skinnier, I think that's going to be a lot brighter too. And it is still a three bedroom, which a lot of the single wides aren't. This is the first bedroom. It does have a closet, not a walk-in like the last one, but they all still have closets. And then we have the little bath in here. Um, and then this is the second bedroom in here. It's interesting that this one has carpet, but the rest of the house doesn't. But because it's set up this way, I think that's less than for us to have to adjust because we don't want carpet in the house, so that's nice. They have this nice trim on everything. It's very like farmhouse style look to it. Um, and then this closet for the second bedroom. And then washer dryer is in this little nook. And then there is a door, and that's where we would put our porch. And because this is all flat, the porch could go all the way. Yeah. It could be from here to the end. Of the yes. The, yeah, we were worried about the porch causing um, the windows to not have as much bright light coming in. But for this house, like what Tony was saying, is the porch could be here because there's no windows here. And then we still have this beautiful light coming through. So this is the outside of the one we were just in. So you guys can kind of see they have these shutters on it. It has a peak. It has a recessed little porch there too and then this is the back of it so you can see there's that big section that has no windows and that is where our main big covered porch probably like screened in porch honestly would be because that way we wouldn't be blocking any windows at all okay guys thank you so much for coming along with us house hunting today i hope you guys enjoy getting a peek into what a manufactured home looks like and what you can see when you go to one of these dealers a lot of them have open houses where you can walk around and check out all the homes don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Berry Mountain Homestead. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Shout out a bed into the